have you watched my previous video about how i made filter face mask um, at home if not then pause this video right now and click the previous one because normal fabric masks are just good for dust hello and welcome back to my channel guys um how are you doing today i was just uh checking the number and it's crazy well a lot of people are recovering um that's a plus we just have to be extra careful and um, <laughs> look at the number here in the us crazy anyway in today's video i'm going to show you how i'm going to make um, disposable clear plastic gloves at home and uh, what is the right way to do that also what not to do so without further ado let's get started so first thing first you will need a scissor a paint or marker a hard paper and a clear plastic packet make sure there is no leakage or hole in it um, because otherwise it will not work you can also use polythene wax for it so let's start technique number one I'm gonna use iron for my first try. I have seen videos where people are making gloves with iron. And uh, to be very honest, I always thought this is too dangerous because the plastic will melt and stick to the iron and it could be a fire hazard. But I just wanted to give it a try as so many are suggesting this is the right way. So let's see. So I'm gonna plug in the iron now. The next step is trace your hand. Place your fingers far apart from each other um, so that uh, you will have room for error. Once I'm done, I'm going to draw another line which is around half inches bigger than the actual hand. Let's cut it out. Our hand print is ready. Now let's trace this paper hand on the plastic bag I chose. I'm gonna go ahead and trace two. As I will be using iron this time, I will not exactly follow the outline here uh, while cutting. I will cut out little extra this time. Well, I need a better scissor because it's not sharp enough. We need the sharpest one we have. <laughs> Okay, so this is how it looks right now. As I mentioned, I wanted to keep some extra. To protect the main part, I'm gonna fold a piece of tape 360 degree and attach the hand over the plastic bag. Let's do this. Ew. I told you this is not gonna work Whew. Um, okay so the plastics are burning and sticking to my hot iron as expected I'm still gonna go ahead and finish it anyway now let's cut the edges nicely I'm gonna cut out the extra part from wrist. 
bad idea guys it does not fit i couldn't wear it comfortably and the joints have opened up in many places uh, moreover it's pretty tight so no please don't follow this technique no iron guys let's do it in another way technique number two so we just experienced that iron does not work so tracing our actual hand does not really work so i'm gonna go ahead this time and trace a line three times bigger than my hand if that makes sense let's see Let's cut it out now. So our hand is ready. You can already see the differences between them. Let's do this guys. Let's trace our new handprint and um, fingers crossed. Tracing the other one now. So this time I'm going to use my hot glue gun without the hot glue stick and uh, just run over the lines. So far this technique is definitely better than the previous one but I don't know. Let's see. One thing is sure this is much cleaner than the other one and uh, so far looks like it's working pretty well to be extra careful i'm gonna run the hot glue over the edges for one more time because you don't want any leak or um, you know opening in your glove okay let's try it well um, it's not bad it's just a little thicker than I expected so the plastic should be more softer if that makes sense because it should feel comfortable so technique number three you can also do it in the old way uh, yeah just candle uh, so I'm gonna use the same hand print this time and um, let's see so off camera I cut out one piece uh, from plastic and now I'm gonna try my third technique So far this one is working better than any other technique. <laughs> Make sure you don't burn yourself or the house. <laughs> um. So this is the time, moment of truth. First thing, don't use iron as many suggested before. I can say hot glue gun is okay. It works like it works around um, 80% I, I would say. It's still not perfect but hey old way is there. <laughs> that candle trick really worked. Uh, what else? Oh yeah the plastic package should be um, softer not too soft though because you will be uh, you will not be able to work on it and the last but not least while tracing you will have to trace um, at least three times bigger hand print than your actual hand so that there will be enough room to move and trust me later you will thank me for that so my camera went off because of overheating off camera i made another one which is with softer plastic look at that and i used the same old technique and i think this is perfect there is no leakage no opening and so far so good i really hope you liked this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up 
and uh, subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and family uh, so that um, they can be independent and make their own gloves because uh, we need a lot of it and if you have any other technique in your mind then please share in the comment section below because we all want to know more about it and we want to help each other let's just hope this thing ends quickly and we want our old um, freedom back having said that for now please stay at home because we want to break the chain and that's all we can do right now next week i will come back with my brand new video till then stay well stay healthy and share love with everyone because life is beautiful catch you guys in the next one bye i almost cut my finger <laughs>